Okay, hi everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to program this board right here, which is the board that we're using in ECS 1011 for doing the plant growth and, and the other lab experiments that we're doing. Now, uh, in order to, to make this work, what you have to do is you have to connect a micro USB cable like this one right here into your computer using, so that's what the cable and looks like that goes into the Arduino board or the Grove board and I'll plug it in right now like that and the other end of it goes to a regular old-school USB um, connector to that okay now for some newer computers you may have to plug it in through a hub because your computer may be USB-C only which looks like that kind of connector right there so in that case you take this connector right here and you plug it into the hub and then you take the other end of the hub and you connect it into your computer. If you've got uh, a more traditional computer then you take that old school USB connector which is directly connected here and you plug it into your computer which I'm going to do right now. And there should, yeah, and there's going to be a power light that will uh, light up as well to show that that's connected and, and all good. So once you've got that up and running and make sure that you've got a good quality USB cable because power only or recharge only USB cables will not work. There have to be four wires inside of the casing um, of the cable, uh, two for power, two for communications. So that's a total of four wires inside. Um, you only know that there's four wires if you get a good quality cable um, from a well-known source or if it came with your board, in which case it'll be fine. So next thing that we do is we go into the Arduino IDE and we go to examples, uh, basics, blink. So I'm getting the example project out and this example project will work on our particular board. What we have to do is also check to see if we are connected to uh, a particular um, port, software port on, your, on our computer. So we do this, we go tools, port, and in my case, it's um, slash dev slash cu dot slab underscore USB to UART. It might not be that on your computer. It likely won't be. Um, and it, it will change based on whether you have a Mac or a Windows machine or a Linux machine. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect. Okay, so you see I've disconnected it. I'm going to take a look for the port again. How do I know what port is actually the one I'm interested in? Well, it's the one that just disappeared. So now I'm going to plug this back in. Come on. There we go. Plug back in. I go back into tools. I go to port and sure enough, the port showed up again, which is great. I click on that next. I go back to tools and I say which board I want to use. Now, this is not an Arduino Uno, but it is an Arduino Uno compatible board. So I choose Arduino Uno here. You could also, if you wanted to choose the Nano, it's compatible with both, but uh, we're gonna choose new, uh, the Uno for the time being. Now I'm going to then click on compile just to make sure the thing compiles. It does. And next I'm going to upload it to the board and you should see some flashing lights right there that was communication and now I've got that LED right there that is blinking at a constant rate that's what I wanted to see happen to verify that I can modify the frequency I changed delay from a thousand to say um, say 200 and it should go much faster a higher frequency so I go to compile I then download, it's downloading, that's the communication, and now the board is flashing LED D13 uh, much faster at a higher frequency than it was originally. So we're good to go. We can now uh, quit out of the Arduino IDE. We're good to go. Now we're gonna switch over to MATLAB. So, whoops, actually, you know what? I shouldn't have done that because I didn't copy down the name of my uh, serial port. Let's go back on there. 
go to blink. All right, so I'm gonna keep that up there so I can see it. In the command window in MATLAB, I'm going to say, I'm gonna create a software object called A. Okay, but I can also make it B. Let's make it B. B is equal to, or let's call it um, Grove board is equal to, so it's being assigned, the output from the Arduino function, which you have installed the support package for already. Um, we are now going to put in the name of the software port associated with this that I've just verified in the Arduino IDE. So I'm going to say open uh, single quote slash dev, whoops, dev slash cu dot slab underscore USB to UART, single quote to close it. Now, I have specified the way that the connection happens based on the Arduino IDE. Now I'm going to say that I want it to, um, let me see, from there I want to say that I have an UNO compatible board, like that, put a semicolon, and it will send a small little program back onto this board using the Arduino IDE. So we'll call up the Arduino IDE and send it a customized little piece of software that will listen for commands that come from the MATLAB programs that we're going to write. Now, this takes a few seconds. You should see in a few seconds, the communication lights come up again. Not that flashing light right there, but the ones over here. Let's be patient there. Oh, did it go? There we go. So that's flashing information onto our board. And now we have a little piece of software that's sitting on this board, listening for commands from MATLAB. All right. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, I want to say write digital pin. And I'm going to say uh, the object, the software object that I want to associate it with this is my Grove board object that I just created. And I want to send a signal to pin D13 on the chip. And I want to send it a true signal, uh, or I want to turn it on using the logic value true. And this should turn on the LED on the board. Did it? Yep. Yeah, it did. Now I'm going to say false to turn it off. And it did. I'm going to do the same thing, but this time with the number one, because that's the equivalent of true. And turn it on. And I'm going to do it with the equivalent of false, which is zero. And it turned it off as well. And you'll notice that when I sent, I hit the enter key, the communication lights on the board lit up. Briefly, that was a message being sent from my computer into the board. And then the board responded. And we'll be using that process to um, send information in and out of our board uh, as we develop the labs for EECS 1011. All right, good luck, everyone. Mm -hmm.